As an infielder, one of the best things we can do for our pitcher is to let him deliver one pitch and have us get two outs for him through a double play. A couple things to remember. First of all, make sure we're in double play depth, which means our positioning is closer to the bag and closer to the hitter. We're giving up a little bit of range to try and get two outs on one pitch. Now for a routine double play ball hit to a shortstop, there are a few things to remember. We field the ball out in front like we would any other ground ball. What we'd like to do is make the exchange out in front as well and get that ball into our throwing hand in a position where the second baseman can see it early. We stay low. We don't want our hat level to go above where we fielded the ball. It's just a matter of staying low, making a pivot and opening our hips towards the second baseman and delivering about a three-quarter arm slot feed with good pace to it, but not so much that it shocks him 100 miles an hour. We're trying to throw it right in his chest so that from there the second baseman can turn it into a double play at first. A lot of the same principles apply to the second baseman making the feed to shortstop. Obviously we're throwing it in the other direction, but we're still fielding the ball out in front. We're still making a turn and pivot. A lot of guys will even put that left knee on the ground to make sure that our hips are open and facing our target. And again, we take the ball at about a three-quarter arm slot and try and give the shortstop a nice feed chest high that he can handle. And then it's his job to turn that into a double play. When we're feeding the double play, remember that priority is the first out. One's a must and two's a plus. Double play is a pitcher's best friend, but we need to make sure that we do our part and give a good feed and get that first out.